My name is Alessandra. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I'm the single mother of four children. So three months ago, I was horribly depressed. Uh, depressed to the point of not being able to see sunshine anywhere in my life. Um, it was a time in my life where nothing was working. Um, financially, things were very difficult. Uh, parenting by myself was something that was very hard. Um, I was having trouble finding work, and I was very overweight. Um, it was very difficult for me to get out of bed. I would often get up, get my kids ready for school, get them to school, come home, go back to bed and set the alarm so that I could wake up in time to bring them home and I would just retreat into my bedroom. I didn't want to leave the house. And I was, I was a non-person, I was non-existent really. I was trying to do everything to not be present, to not feel, to not have to deal with the fact that my life was so painful. Um, I was extremely overweight. I would start eating and I wouldn't stop. I would just, the food would keep coming in and in and it wasn't, it wasn't eating for hunger at all. It was really, I knew that if I ate enough, I would pass out when I got to bed. That I would be so full and so stuffed, so bloated, that uh, I just would feel nothing and I would fall asleep. I had trouble getting work because I didn't want to present myself to people. Um, because nothing in my life felt good. I mean, really, things were so great everywhere that I looked and that became overwhelming. There was no part of my life that was working. And so there was no escape for me. My escape became food. Every single day, my oldest son, who's 14, would come home from school and he would say, how was your day today? And I would say, I had a really bad day. And I realized that I had said this to him for about eight months in a row, every single day. And he would say, did you cry today? And I would say, of course, I cry every day. And he would say, well, I hope that tomorrow's a better day. And I would shrug my shoulders. And then, you know, we'd go about doing whatever we were doing. But I think when I realized that it had been day after day after day that I had said to him for so many months, I had a bad day, of course I cried today, that those were not normal ways to be living and to be feeling. But I, I didn't know how to take the first step. I didn't know what direction to move in. I actually woke up in the middle of the night one night, I had left the TV on, and uh, I heard the infomercial on, and uh, there was somebody on the show, and I heard her say, if you want to be happy, press play. If you want to feel joy, press play. If you want a better life, press play. And I sat up in bed and I put on my glasses and I thought, of course I want all those things. I think it made a big difference that I started spending an hour a day on me and believing that that was worth it. And there were definitely moments that were frustrating and I think I kept saying to myself, it's just six weeks. And my energy levels, Increased tremendously and the way that I felt about myself began to get better because I was actually keeping the commitment. The first three or four weeks my kids noticed it was changing because I would smile when they came home from school and I wouldn't lock myself in the bedroom and I know that they were experiencing me as a happier person and I know that I was experiencing me as a happier person. This isn't really so much about vanity or about if you can fit into a size six or an eight. But how are you feeling about yourself? I think if my body had just become slimmer, that um, that would be exciting for me, because I think that we all want to get into shape. But the impact that it had on, my rest, on the rest of my life was so tremendous. Every part of my life has changed. Um, I feel great, I look great. Your whole life is gonna change when you press play. It will not just be that your body will change. Having more energy will give you the energy to follow your dreams and to do the things that you want. You have to be ready for that kind of change. There's so many amazing things are going to come into your life. It is, it is almost unbelievable, except that I'm standing here today, to let you know how very real it is and how it truly came down to pressing play. One hour a day. I am delighted with my life now. I'm delighted with the person that I am. And so I can talk about being sad and being depressed and how hopeless I felt, but I will never go back to being that person again. And so that's what comes out of me, my conviction and my joy. I'm a really happy person.